One important idea that organic chemistry is predicated upon is the structural theory of matter. This states that a chemical formula alone doesn't give you enough information. Consider the compound C2H6O. Now, you know how to do Lewis structures because you learned that in general chemistry. Here's a way to make Lewis structures that is specific to organic chemistry, and it deals with the valency of each atom involved, that is, how many bonds it can form. A carbon atom has four valence electrons, which means it has four unpaired electrons in its Lewis symbol, so it can make four bonds. And that can be four single bonds, or it can be two double bonds, or it can be a double and two singles, or it could be a triple and a single. Nitrogen is trivalent, meaning it likes to form three bonds. So either three single bonds, a double bond, and a single bond, or a triple bond. And nitrogen will also have a lone pair. Oxygen is divalent, meaning it forms two bonds. That can be two singles or a double. And oxygen has two lone pairs. Hydrogen and the halogens are monovalent. They will only form one bond, generally, especially in organic molecules. And the halogens will have three lone pairs. Now back to C2H6O. There are two ways we can draw the skeleton of this molecule, or the backbone. We can have carbon joined to carbon joined to oxygen, and then we just fill in hydrogens until each carbon has four bonds. And the oxygen has two. This molecule is ethanol. We could also set up our backbone to be C to O to C. Our oxygen already has two bonds, and now we fill in the hydrogens until each carbon has four bonds, and we've got the correct chemical formula. This molecule is called dimethyl ether. Now drawing out these Lewis structures quickly becomes tiresome, but there's something called a condensed structure. which is much quicker. So if you look at ethanol, on the far left we have carbon with three hydrogens. We call that a CH3. In the middle we have a carbon with two hydrogens. That's a CH2. And then we have an OH on the end. Can you draw the condensed structure for dimethyl ether? Pause and try it. So if you're ready, we've got a CH3 group on the left, and we have a CH3 group on the right, and they're bridged by an oxygen. So the condensed structure is CH3O CH3. That's a lot easier than drawing out all those hydrogens and all those dashes. So you're probably asking yourself, why does structure matter? Well, one reason, people eat things. Things are constructed of chemicals. Is it safe to eat a chemical that has the chemical formula C2H6O? Well, the answer is yes, but the answer is also no, and it depends on the structure. Ethanol is the active ingredient in beer. It'll get you drunk. Dimethyl ether, on the other hand, when it goes through your stomach, it'll change into methanol, and then when it goes to your liver, it'll end up becoming formaldehyde. It'll make you a well-preserved corpse. So you can see, it's not just 
the chemical formula, that is, which atoms are in a compound and how many of each, it is also the way they are connected to each other that determines the function of a molecule. So, the structures of organic molecules will be something that we will study in great detail throughout the semester.